In this live video, I just want to teach you how to plot cubic graphs. So this is a free video, and if you are interested in joining our online classes, I'll give more details about that. So cubic graphs. Let me just give a, a brief background. Cubic graphs. Cubic graphs. So this, this is a graph pad. This is a graph pad. And then the exam that you're about to write in July, you're going to be given three graphs. And one of the graphs you'll be given is for you to plot a cubic graph. A cubic graph. So how I need to explain a bit about a graph. I hope you have bought a graph. So this, this is a graph. You see, this is a graph. This is a two-inch graph. It's a two-inch graph. So what this means is this. One box here, the box that you see here, this one full box here, is two centimeter. This full box here is two centimeter. And there are ten lines here. There are ten lines that you see. So one full box, two centimeter, and there are ten lines. Do you, can you see that? All right. So one, one full box is two centimeter. Two centimeter. And there are ten boxes in here. You get what I'm saying? So this is a graph. This is a graph. So I'm, I'm not going to use a graph to teach this question. I'm going to use the whiteboard. I just want to, I want to give you an idea on how to plot a cubic graph. This is a 12 mark topic, 12 marks for you. So I hope that you, you get it. So get, most of us, we like those one inch graphs. Don't get those. Get this graph. Get it. It's in book world, you can find it there in Grand Matter, any stationary shop in town and everywhere, you can get this graph for you to practice. And then we have a pencil. When plotting graphs, use an HB pencil. Do not use any kind of pencil. If you want to have a smooth graph, like smooth like a baby's cheeks, use this. This, this is a HB pencil. HP pencil. So let's look at this question that we have here. It's a 2019, 2019 question. 2019. So Mr. Philip move closer. They have told us, they have told us to plot this. So cubic graphs 2019. This was for internals. You have this is an equation I've given you. Y is equals to x to the power 3 minus 5x plus 3. They want you to plot this. And what they have done, they have already given you coordinates. This is a table of values. They have given you x, y. So this is x, this is y. You have negative 3, you have negative 2, up to 3. And then you have k here, then you have 5 up to 15. They have told you, calculate the value of k. Calculate the value of k. That's the first question. So on your graph, never use a pen. Use a pencil. So let's suppose that my whiteboard... This whiteboard is a graph. It's a graph. So my original equation is this. This is my original equation. And the first question I've told me, find the value of k. So check this. Why there's k here? And where there's k, what is my x value? My x coordinate is negative 3. So what I do is this. I say y is equals to x I've told me is negative 3. So I'll put negative 3 to the power 3 minus 5. And that is 3 plus 3. How do I find this? This is paper 2. You can use you can use a calculator. So I'll just say in brackets negative 3 to the power 3 minus 5 negative 3 plus 3. This is giving me y is equals to negative 9. You can use a calculator. It's paper 2. It's giving me. So even say therefore. K is equals to negative 9. Therefore, K is equals to negative 9. So you have found your value of K. Yeah. All this you are writing because the question, the first instruction, they'll say, answer this question on a sheet of graph, on a sheet of graph paper. Yeah. So now, the next question is, excuse me, how to plot this? How to plot this? So this is my question. All my students in the online group, have got this question. So the question reads, so the first question was calculate the value of k. The next question is, 
using a scale of two centimeters to represent one unit. Remember, I said that that one box is equal to two centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis. Four. So they've even given me a limit. So this is my limit. Negative three is less or equal to x, less or equal to three. This is my limit. They have given me a limit. Two centimeters to represent one unit in the x-axis. Then two centimeters to represent five units. So one box, the next the first number is to be zero, next number should be five. So you need to follow the instructions for you to get it. So two, two centimeters to represent five units on the y-axis. Four, they have given me another limit. Negative 10 is less or equal to y, less or equal to 20. I have to follow these limits. So let's plot. So let's suppose this is our graph. So this is x, this is y. So remember they said in the x-axis, my limit is 3 in the positive. And they said 2 centimeter, 1 unit. So 0, next number will be 1, next number will be 2, next number will be 3. Then this side is for the positive values, the other side is for the negatives. Here you have negative one, you have negative two, you have negative three. Yeah, so that's your x axis. And then they said two centimeter to represent five units. Two centimeter to represent five units. So you have zero. Ten. Next number is fifteen. Next number is twenty. Why, why, why have I ended up at 20? Because this is my 20. They've told me end at 20 in the positives. And in the negatives, I end at negative 10. So I have negative 5. I have negative 10. Once I have this, it's now time for me to plot. It's now time for me to plot. So check this. This is negative 3 comma k. What did we find as our k? We found it is negative 9. So you say here, this is negative 3. Where is my negative 9? Negative 9 is down. And this could have been best to use in a graph. You remember that one box has how many lines? 10 lines. So we are supposing these are 10 lines. And you can't say 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, because you end here at 5. So this means that they are counting in twos. They are counting in twos. So after two lines, that's one. After another two lines, that's two. That's how they are counting in the y-axis. So this is negative three. Meaning my negative nine will be somewhere here. So that's our plot. This is negative three. And where is your negative nine? It's there. So where they meet, indicate by showing an x. An x. This is how you indicate. Show an x, okay? This is where they meet. I plotted this. Next one is negative 2, comma 5. So I have 2. This is my negative 2, comma 5. I go up here. So an x there, like that. Simple. Plotting is very easy. Then I have negative 1, 7. So this is my 1. This is 6, then 7. So 7 is here. Yeah? Then I have 0, comma 3. So this is 0, this is zero, so one, two, three, somewhere there. And then we have one comma one comma negative one. So this is one, negative one is there. You see, even the graph, you can say, okay, this is making sense. This is making sense. It's going like this. Then we have two, two comma one. So it will be there. Then we have three comma fifteen. So three, where's my fifteen here? So where they meet an x. You don't end here. Start by joining with the dotted line at first. This dotted line should meet all the points I've just plotted. You see? It's a dotted line. Like that. Smooth. Don't end with a dotted line. After I know, okay, now this makes sense. You can join now with a solid line. Can join this with a solid line. A solid line like that. Join with a solid line. Just follow the points. 
all of the points Make sure that it's smooth. So once you have something like this, you can even label here. So this is my y is equals to x to the power 3 minus 5x plus 3. Simple as that, you have your three marks. This is how you plot. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Comment, comment, comment. So now, I've taught you how to plot a graph. The next thing that I'll end on today is uh, how to find the gradient. How to find gradient. Because always they will tell you, find gradient, find gradient. So here they're telling us, find the gradient of the curve at the point where x is equals to 2. At the point where x is equals to 2. So let's check this. Where is my x is equals to 2 in this table? It's here. And what is it with? What? What is the y coordinate here? So this is 2, my y coordinate is 1. So I'll look for that point. So 2 comma 1, oh, what's 2 comma 1? 2 comma 1, 2 comma 1 is here. So when you're finding gradient, at that point that I've told you, draw a tangent line. A tangent line is just a sloping line that meets the point. So this is my tangent line. So just meet the point I've told you. You're using a ruler, by the way. That's my tangent line. You have seen I've met this point. They have told me to find the gradient. So that's how you find it. Draw a tangent line, meet the point I've told you, and after this now, you are not done. It's not time to start jumping and being excited. Here's how you know gradient, the way it's found. So here we're looking at uh, gradient. So you're looking at gradient. So you know that to find gradient, you need two points. I'll use my first point I've given me. The first point I've given me is 2 for x. The other point is 1 for y. Then, how do you find the next point? That's the question. Along this tangent line you have just drawn, pick one point. You can pick this point here or here. Anywhere, just pick a point along your tangent line. For me, I'll pick a point here. And once I pick this point, that's why they say, estimate what do they mean when they say estimate it means when you're going to find the gradient my friend here can find the gradient as 10 i can find my gradient as 11. we are both correct that's what it means estimate the gradient so if i pick a point here i'll still be correct if i pick it here i'll still be correct so it doesn't matter where you pick a point as long as your tangent line is correct you're good so I'm picking this point here. I've picked this point. So at this point, I'm going to read my x value and I'm going to read my y value. So what is my x here? So say, let me say this is 2. We're just assuming because this is not a graph. I just want you to get the idea, please. So here I'm saying x is 2.5. Always start with the x value. Always. So at one point, you're picking x and y, please. At one point, you're picking x and y. So this is 2.5, and I'll say this is 6. After this, you name x1, y1, x2, y2. So m is equals to y2 minus y1. This is a formula for gradient. Yeah. So m, m stands for gradient. What is my y2? It's 6 minus, what is y1? 1. What is my x2? 2.5. Minus so my x1, 2. So m is equals to 5 minus 2.5 minus 2 must be 0 0.5. So m is equals to, we use a calculator here. We use a calculator here. So 5 divide 0 0.5. That's 10. So my gradient is 10. That's all. So that is it about uh, how to plot. This is a very uh, very short uh, introduction. I have an online group and this is what we're looking at this week and I thought I should shed more light. If you are watching the video and you really love our lessons, can consider joining our online class. So far we're about 150. We're still looking for 40 more students to teach in May. If you're interested, text us. The fee is only 70 quarter, very affordable. Our videos are well explained. You learn through WhatsApp. You get to consult. It's very interactive, yeah? So text us. We will get back to you. We want to see you pass, yeah? So take care. Download the video for you to keep practicing. God bless you.